Put down Suge, put down Luna. Ten years ago, Andrea Stanfield, who now runs an animal rescue company, <laughs> Luna. was dogged by mounting legal bills as she fought for custody of her daughter. She needed a well-paying job. I would do anything, anything. You know, what's the fastest way to get there before I lose my daughter or lose everything that I have? But most well-paying jobs required a bachelor's degree. Andrea only had a high school diploma. So the Ohio native lied on her resume, claiming to be a graduate of Akron University, which is actually called the University of Akron. Did you think about the consequences when you lied? Not really. I, I really worked very hard at putting the consequences out of my head. The lie led to two high-level financial jobs and a six-figure salary, but it also caused severe guilt, anxiety attacks, and a second divorce. I did lose part of myself, you know, part of my life, and you can't get that back. You just can't. You know, I lived 10 years of my life deceiving everyone I knew. Three out of 10 people lie on their resumes, according to experts. And in a tight economy with unemployment close to 10 percent, more job seekers may be feeling desperate enough to stretch the truth. We have seen a substantial increase in fraudulent resumes over the last 12 to 24 months. Greg Slamowitz's firm no, counsels the, businesses on the importance of screening resumes, but even his company was almost fooled last year until a background check raised suspicions about a candidate's degree and her diploma. At first glance, it looked good. <laughs> on closer examination, 90 was misspelled, and Edmund Brown wasn't even governor at the time. You're foolish if you do not do a thorough background check on everyone. Hamilton University and Vanderbilt College are what we call well-known degree mills. These are fictitious institutions. Ben Allen says clients at his security right. firm are requesting more in-depth background checks than ever before. 96 percent of companies nationwide do background checks, up from 66 percent more than 10 years ago. People are asking us to check more things than they have historically, so it would suggest that they're more concerned about it. As for Andrea, after spending a decade looking over her shoulder, she quit her job before getting caught and turned her past into a cautionary tale. You might be able to pull it off for, for years, but it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. It's not worth it. Andrea says her actions cost her her integrity. And 10 years later, she's still trying to earn it back. Kelly Wallace, CBS News, St. Petersburg, Florida.